Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Today we're going to play around with some alcohol inks. And actually I'm doing a voiceover, which I pretty much never do. Um, but I was trying to contend with the heat gun noise and that wasn't really working. So I am using the Ranger alcohol ink. This is Stream, is the name of this color. And then I'm going to be using the Pinata Gold. And that I put on last. We'll get to that. And then I'm just using 91% isopropyl alcohol to help push it around. And today I'm using my heat gun. If you go down to the description of which uh, art supplies I use, you'll see my Amazon store and the heat guns in there. Um, I'm just using it on low heat and low air. It has a lot of settings. So I started by adding some plain alcohol down first, and then I put about four or five, maybe five drops of my color. And that's really all you need. We're gonna now just take the heat gun and use that to just push around that same ink and uh, just basically keep adding alcohol ink to push it around and spread it out as much as you want. You can definitely add more ink, but you really don't need a lot, at least not to get the look that we're going for in this painting, which is kind of the the wispy look. Um, and another important point is I'm doing this on a wood board. It is gessoed. You can do this on yuppo paper uh, or a multitude of other surfaces. You just want something that's not gonna warp. Uh, when you use a more flexible surface, it, it can warp and um, can be a little hard to manipulate. I tried doing this on my yuppo paper and it it worked out just not quite as well. So this is a an eight inch by eight inch cradled board, pre-gessoed that I got from Michaels. And all I'm doing here is just adding more plain alcohol around my edges and then taking the heat gun and just spreading it out. And I like to push the air directly down instead of at an angle because that kind of helps prevent getting the um, little little tendrils, I think you'd call it, where you get just like a little line of ink shooting off. So I found that when you press it straight down, that helps prevent that. And long story short, I'm gonna literally just continue doing that, pushing this around with uh, adding some more alcohol.
So at this point, I'm pretty happy with it uh, color-wise. I'm going to go ahead and add the gold, and I'm just putting a little bit down. I do this last because the gold is uh, it's a bit different. It's heavier, and it sits on top. And then I'm same thing, I'm going to add the alcohol, uh, quite a liberal amounts, and then push it around with my heat gun. And the cool thing about the gold is that it kind of moves to the edges of your previously placed ink. So it kind of gives you these awesome gold outlines and then a bit of a gold sheen. I found it best to not do too much of the gold because then you can kind of create a bit of a muddy look but I like to just do a little bit, usually kind of towards the center. I'm gonna add just a little bit more gold. I really do like the gold. <laughs> um, and then more alcohol and go ahead and push that around as well. And now for the close-up, you can see how the gold kind of sits on top there and also how it kind of goes towards the edges and kind of outlines it with gold, which I just love that effect. And here we have kind of light wispy effects towards the edges and it's got a nice layered look. This was all done with only about four drops of the alcohol ink. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.